Some time ago I bought a Yakima Skybox for my uh, Forester and I wanted to be able to raise, put it on myself and take it off myself in my garage. So I want to be able to take it from the floor and uh, raise it up uh, above any interference in the garage here. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you how I did that in case you have a similar need. So first of all, the things needed are uh, a winch. So uh, I just bought a marine winch from a local store, just a 600 pound one, I think it was $15. And then I bought a uh, couple of different colors of uh, paracord, 550 paracord, uh, 50 foot links. And I, I'm really glad I got the two colors because it helped keep things straight uh, as I uh, got into this. Okay, and then I also have, uh, this can be seen up here on the ceiling, there are the uh, double shiv pulleys. I have four of those. And uh, above that, you can see what's holding it to the ceiling. There is a, uh, a uh, chain repair link, which holds it onto a, uh, I screw which goes into the uh, one of the joists above the drywall in this garage ceiling okay you can see there's another one right there and, and it proceeds there is another one and a final one then there are two single shift pulleys which come off the ends. I'm going to get a little closer on here. And uh, those each go to uh, some load rated spring snaps or carabiners. There's one and then here's the rear one. Okay, so I'm going to get a little closer now. This is the last one or the the uh, one most forward in the garage and you can see that I have the eye screw going into the joist coming off of that is the uh, chain repair link and then that holds on my double shiv pulley and on this one as you can see this is the farthest forward one then this one is just the red paracord and I have the paracord coming in, in my case, on the left side shiv here. It goes down and makes a loop under the single shiv pulley, comes back up to the right side, and then that goes down again to the carabiner, second one. So there's two carabiners here. And this uh, yellow strapping material, I'm going to show you that in use. That is just what I use to wrap around the bottom of the Yakima Skybox in the, the forward position. Okay, now I'm going to go back up to the ceiling here and proceed backwards. And you can see next, I have a similar arrangement with the rear cable same exact thing or very close to it. I put on a, uh, a little safety uh, mechanism here just in case something went wrong because I wasn't quite sure the load rating on this, uh, this spring snap. This bottom one is very heavy. Okay, and uh, one thing that took me a little while to figure out, and I'm just gonna point it out here, is that when I ran the forward cape or the forward paracord, if you will here I had to keep it supported when it's there's no weight on it and so I ended up running it through the chain repair link there and that really helped and the reason I needed to make that right hand turn I'll just give you the big layout of the garage was that I needed to uh, put the winch on the wall between the two garage doors so I had to so to avoid any interference I had to uh, put that 90 degree in there. 
if I could, I mean, my neighbor, in his case, what he did is he ran it to the front of his garage instead of at the rear. I could have done that, but um, I liked it at the rear better, so that's why I put in that extra, extra link. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, lower the mechanism so that I can uh, get it ready to accept the Yakima Skybox. So when I do now, and there's no weight on it right now, so what I have to do is uh, I have to pull it out. So I push it in and I uh, hold on to the strings as I just keep the tension on them. Paracords, I should say. In fact, I can even do it a little faster. And as you can see, I've been able to lower them significantly. One other thing I'll just point out is that on my garage floor, I did put uh, a couple of marks. And so I'm going to back my, these are registration marks, so I'm going to back my, uh, my Forester up to uh, match up with those marks on both tires. There's the, there's the forward one. And then uh, I should be able to get the straps right down to it. Okay, so I've backed the vehicle up to the registration marks. All right. And as you can see now, the straps are, I'm gonna have to lower it a little bit more, but they're pretty close to where they need to be. Okay, so I have opened up the skybox and uh, now I have to pop these clamps loose. For my straps, what I did is I had an old, uh, or an unused, I should say, tow cable. It wasn't a snatch strap, I've gone to a snatch strap since then, but I had this unused tow cable, so I just cut the ends off of it, and then I uh, sewed loops into each end so that I could then put it onto the snap strap. And I used uh, just a, oh gosh, I think it was just one of those real heavy canvas needles or something uh, that my wife had, and uh, the cord I used, I did buy it for that. It was a, they, they, I found that they call it a micro cord. Uh, it's a hundred pound test. Okay, and there is a strap difference uh, in length in order to get this thing to rise level. So uh, I did label it, this is the front strap. Okay, so what I have done is uh, taken one end off of the snap strap or the snap clip there and run it all the way underneath. I put it right in where these clamps are. Brought it back around to the top up here. So I'm gonna connect that to here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the front. Okay, now you can see I have some extra cord length on there. I have enough to allow me to go all the way to the ground. So I can pick it up from, uh, I can put it down on the floor of the garage to wash it if I wanted to, to do that. I don't think it'd go through a car wash very well. I haven't tried it. Okay, so now uh, when, I, when I do wind this up, I take care to just make sure that, that these things sort of stay, wind up left to right. And, and I gotta keep a, some tension on it because it's not yet lifting the box. But I'm getting close. Okay, so now we'll, I've got tension there, so we will we'll take a look at how the box looks. And it took me a while to get these links correct. Excuse me. It took me a while to get these links correct in order to uh, have the thing raise level. So you might have to play around with that if you make one. Okay. 
and it looks like it's a little bit unlevel, so I'm going to put it back down and uh, just square it up. Okay, so I just uh, scooted the strap a little to get it a little bit more centered. And that's probably all the more I need to raise it. I should comment that this garage, I think, uh, is about ten and a half feet from the floor to the ceiling, so I had plenty of room, so I didn't really have to get too creative with uh, with uh, the straps or the, the what I was holding it with in order to get it closer to the ceiling. I suppose if a person really wanted to play around with it, that you could probably uh, use boards underneath it and. Uh, a system that would raise it a lot closer to the ceiling. So there's the skybox in the final raised position. And I'll just go up here to give you a little closer look. That's the uh, hardware here. Okay. I probably could have done without this uh, snap clip here and just tied this cord directly to that single snap clip there. Uh, so, hope that helps you. Good luck.